Okay, so we're trying to find the equation of the line that passes through 2, 4, and 5, 11. Now, if we do this using parameter sweeping, would someone be willing to talk me through what that process looks like? Uh, I'm going to pull up the graphing calculator on Desmos, and if you would, please tell me what I should do to solve this problem. Before you do, I'm going to actually put the problem in, on the screen so people know what it is. So first, you want to put in the points that we're trying to find on the graph. So I think if I just type those in, it makes them come up. Is that? And you said you want them to be the same color usually. But I don't think it would matter. Um, and then you said you wanted us to do the equation or type an equation y equals mx plus b and make them sliders. Okay. Basically just play around and see what works. Yeah. So I'm going to try to do that now. I'm just moving the sliders until I see what gets me passing through these two points as closely as I can. I'm getting pretty close to passing through. The blue looks good, but the red's a little off. Mm -hmm. Do you think I'm going to be able to find the, do you think I'm going to be able to find the exact answer this way? Yeah, it's an approximation. So that's the disadvantage of parameter sweeping. Um, and it, it's not an inconsequential disadvantage. This is not going to be able to find the exact answer. So algebra has the advantage that it can find the exact answer. It has the disadvantage that it can be tedious to do by hand and it, it, it isn't always possible. Parameters, hello. Parameter sweeping is not perfect. It, it is a great method, but I don't want to present it in a one-sided way. What's important is that you understand the differences between these two methods and when one or the other might be appropriate. So the exact numbers that I was looking for I, I won't get to them because the settings for the slider 